Oh crap. Hey guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, I want to share with you guys my number one Akimbo Fennec loadout. It's the loadout I used today and yesterday on stream to push to legendary rank. That loadout is extremely fast. The time to kill is insane. So you guys will love that loadout. Now, before we start, this video is sponsored by Call of Duty Mobile. So if you guys want to know more, check out the link in the description. Now, you guys can have it for free. All you have to do to unlock the Akimbo perk is get three kills without dying 30 times. So my tip to grind this fast is equip your Fennec and go hardpoint shipment. You got a lot of kills fast. It's a small map. So you're going to get three kills without dying quite a few times. Now, Akimbo means you can carry two weapons at the same time. And Fennec is a SMG. It's got a crazy fast fire rate, but small mag. So you run out of ammo often. And not just that you have to reload all the time, but you run out of ammo if you get a few kills in a row. So tip number one, guys, for the loadout, I suggest you use Vulture with the Fennec. You kind of have to, unless you die a lot. But if you go on a kill streak, you're going to need Vulture. Okay, so Vulture, when you kill some guys, uh, they drop a package and you can replenish your ammo. Now for the rest, I kind of always use Dead Silence and most of my loadouts in rank Dead Silence is very good. And I use Lightweight for the extra mobility. Guys, you're gonna see this class is insanely fast. You run super fast, you move super fast. So let's go with the gunsmith now. I wanna show you guys my attachments. And first of all, shout out to uh, Michael on Discord. Because when this gun came out, or when the Mythic Akimbo came out, I was using the default the default blueprint, all right? But Michael told me, like, you can use extended barrels or any attachment that will slow down the ADS. Like, you don't care because you never ADS. When you're Akimbo, you only hit fire. You cannot ADS. So I decided to go with the MIP extended light barrel. So light barrel, uh, extra range and extra accuracy so the bullet spread is pretty bad on the fennec so that's going to help you and the downside minus ads speed it does not affect you so you don't care right so you guys can try out other barrels but as you can see uh the best you can get is extra mobility it's gonna reduce like whatever you use is gonna reduce uh the control so more recoil uh, less range and less accuracy. So I think MIP extended light barrel is the best thing you can do to make your Fennec Akimbo better. Now the rest, uh, debatable muzzle here, uh, I think you can play around with and you're gonna see, uh, you're not gonna gain much. You can trade control for better accuracy, but I think that one is more balanced. So I'm using RTC light muzzle break. Let me know in the comments what you guys like. Now, of course, Akimbo, you cannot go around it. It's an Akimbo loadout, so you have to use the perk. If you don't have it, unlock it right now. Uh, I'm using laser, again, for hip fire accuracy. And um, that one, I guess you can play around also, but I found that one was the, the most balanced. Now, debatable. That one is debatable, the mag. You can, if you want, use no mag at all. The light mag is gonna increase your movement speed, and I like, this is just crazy fast, guys. Uh, some guys say, well, if you have to reload all the time, why you don't use extended mag? Well, in my opinion, even with the extended mag, you are still gonna have to reload all the time. So I don't think it's gonna make a big enough difference, and it's gonna reduce your movement speed. Now, the other viable option you guys might wanna try, fast reload, because since you reload all the time, uh, you might want to try reloading faster. So it's between light mag or fast mag. I decide to go light mag because I just like the insane movement speed on that. It's just very fun. But I guess fast mag will be good also. So that's the gunsmith for the Fennec Akimbo loadout. And if you guys use something different, I mean, under barrel, I guess will be useless in Akimbo. I don't think you can... Like, I don't know if it's going to be effective. Uh, and the rare grip could be also something people like you can get better accuracy or better uh control i think mobility is not gonna help here because it's ads speed so uh, yeah i mean i think it's the best loadout guys it's been doing really good for me and i want to show you guys some gameplay check out the movement speed how fast this gun is 
but also how fast it kills. It's one of the fastest time to kill gun in the game right now. Uh, that is not a one shot kill like a sniper or a shotgun. Uh, it's crazy good at close range, but once again, you're gonna have to choose your spots, okay? I don't use that in any or every game mode or every map. Mostly I use it mostly in team deathmatch on some specific maps that I have some routes that I am always inside buildings or inside the small small lanes. Try that loadout. Let me know how it's working for you in the comments. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy because it's a lot of fun to use and it's also competitive enough to use it in rank. So here's the gameplay. Enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Grenade! Contact with enemy. Imagine I kill myself with my own nade. Free kill, man. Changing mag, cover me. It's too close. Fight harder. Changing mag. It's a... You got him, right? But but what people don't like is you got the mobility of a knife and your TTK is so freaking fast. But remember the downside is you have to reload every freaking kill. Cannot Reloaded, lose to cover. campers, dude. Heads up. Enemy spot. Oh crap. Enemy contract. Reloading. Bro, we're one up. Come back of the year, bros. I got shot. Cover me. He knew I was coming, right? Changing mag. We've taken the lead. Reloading. Two, two. We've taken the lead. One. Yeah, boy. Let's go.